Hello Scorpio, welcome to another love reading. This one's gonna be all about how your person is currently thinking or feeling about you, about the connection. We'll also take a look at their energies or intentions towards you. As always, this is meant to be a general love reading, so it will not resonate with everyone watching. So take what resonates for you, what applies to your situation. So let's jump right in for Scorpio Spirit, for Scorpio in love. What do they need to know? about love spirit what's scorpio dealing with in love scorpio what do we need to know in love what does scorpio need to know i'm using a um, new spread that i've been really enjoying it gives us a lot of information about what's going on and then um i clarify with my little clarifier deck and those have all upright so we get um nice clear messages about what exactly the energy is for Scorpio. For Scorpio, one more shuffle. All right, let's see what we get for you, Scorpio. So what's going on in your connection at this time? Six of Cups. Knight of Swords. What we need to know about this, any challenges or insight, Four of Wands, the Hangman, Reverse. Interesting. How do you feel about this person? Temperance, Reverse, Seven of Swords. Oh, okay. What do they feel about you? Three of Cups, Reverse, the Lovers, Reverse. Interesting. Gemini energy there. Where is all of this headed? Queen of Wands. Three of Swords reverse. Oh my gosh. What is going on, Scorpio? <laughs> and any hidden factors or anything you need to know about this outcome? King of Pentacles and Page of Pentacles. Okay. Why is all of this happening? The, the reason everything is going on. Page of Cups. So this is, could be an apology, expressing feelings, um, emotions. Interesting. <laughs> so I feel like for a lot of you, this is a significant like past connection, like someone that you already know and you've dealt with before. Um, I feel like there's some sort of action that's gonna be happening in the near future. Um, and I feel a lot of you are dealing with a third party situation. I have the three of swords reverse and the three of cups reverse that have shown up here. I feel one of you has been in some sort of a commitment or something has been happening at home that hasn't been very stable or someone is dealing with a situation at home that affects this connection. Um, we'll see when we keep um clarifying here what exactly is going on that's what i see so far scorpio when i look at your energy i feel like you don't trust this person and i feel it's because of some sort of separation that could have happened between you or a separation that you know is happening in a third party so we'll, we'll have to see what that's all about now keep in mind this is the 411 on your connection so both of you are here both of your energies are in this connection obviously so um Flip the energies if they resonate more for you. Okay, give me some clarity, Spirit. Can we have some clarity for Scorpio regarding love? Well, let's start with the Page of Cups. This is why everything is happening, the root, the foundation of everything. Why is the Page of Cups here for Scorpio? Why is the Page of Cups here? Two of Swords. Can we get one more? Why is the Page of Cups here? Why is the Page of Cups here? So someone was undecided about what to say here. Six of Swords. Or even if they should communicate. Um, yeah, Two of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Um, someone, I feel, has chosen or... I, honestly, the Six of Swords, I think this happened in the past. And I think someone's debating whether they should communicate now. 
Um, let's see. Why is the Two of Swords here? Why is the Two of Swords here? The Lovers, Gemini Energy. Lover shows up again. Why is the Six of Swords here? Why is the Six of Swords here? Yep, Seven of Swords. So I feel like this is what happened in the past. The reason why, because you have the Seven of Swords as well. The reason why you don't trust someone or you are wary of someone's actions or intentions towards you. Someone could be sneaking away to communicate as well. I do see that as a possibility, but I have the 10 of wands at the bottom of the deck. So I think this is something that has already happened and maybe someone wants to apologize for it or talk about it now. Um, I feel like this has been a difficult decision for someone to talk or communicate here. Um, but I think it's definitely going to happen because this is what's happening in your connection right now. Six of Cups and Knight of Swords. Literally talking of the past or talking about a soulmate or talking about a past situation. Um, I feel like that's, that's really what's been happening or, or what's going to happen very soon here. Tell me about the Six of Cups and the Knight of Swords. Tell me about the Six of Cups and the Knight of Swords. Why is the Six of Cups and the Knight of Swords here? Queen of Cups. Why is the Six of Cups and the Knight of Swords here? Five of Pentacles. What's this? Six of Cups again. Yeah. I feel like someone wants to talk about what happened in the past. Um, about love about emotions tied to the past. Um, I have the Ace of Swords at the bottom of the deck here. So this is gonna be possibly, you know, clearing the air, getting clarity, trying to figure something out um, regarding the past or past emotions here. Now the Five of Pentacles is here as well. So I think there's been difficulty, struggle. Uh, maybe someone has struggled with the feelings that they have for you or vice versa from the past. Maybe someone has felt like they're missing something in their life or they miss you or they, they're not doing well without you, etc. This could also be your energy, Scorpio, but I feel like this is a communication that's going to be taking place or has taken place already um, because this is what's happening right now in your connection. Um, and it's going to be a very honest conversation. Now this down here is like challenges or insight about what's happening and we have the hangman reverse with a four of wands. So the hangman reverse for me is someone that's no longer unstuck. There's judgment that I wanted to pop out there. Um, no longer stuck or thinking or, or you know, it's almost like they've already gotten the clarity that they needed. Um, but sometimes this could also be that someone is unable to become unstuck as well. So let's see what this is about. Tell me about the hangman reverse. Why is the hangman reverse? Why is the hangman reverse? Eight of pentacles. Why is the hangman reverse? Why is the hangman reverse? Two of Wands. Okay, so the message I'm getting is someone's working on getting options or uh, focused on how to how to be able to have a door open for them. Can I get one more for the Hangman Reverse? Ten of Swords. Okay. Yeah, so I feel like this is some someone is going through some sort of ending in their life here or a cycle that's closing. Um, and I feel like it's, it's, it's so that they have another option or they have a door or another path that opens for them. Can you see that? Okay. And I have the four of wands again at the bottom of the deck and I have the four of wands here. So I feel like this has something to do with like home, home life, a marriage, possibly a family, um, We have the Two of Pentacles after that. So, you know, Two of Wands, Two of Swords, Two of Pentacles. This has been a decision for someone. And I don't think it's been an easy decision. Um, I feel like this is someone that hasn't 
hasn't had a good time making this decision, basically. Okay, so this could be you or your person that is has has decided to go down a different path or has is having an ending in their life. So let's see how you feel about each other. Let me get some insight into Scorpio and their person's energies. Energies between Scorpio and their person. So what do need to know? What is Scorpio's energies in this connection? What are their energies in this connection? The energy that Scorpio is bringing to this connection sphere. What is this? True love. Love union coming together and then balancing act. So I feel like you might be the one that's undecided or weighing your options here regarding a partnership. Maybe you're trying to decide if you can trust someone. Um, maybe you're confused, you know, about how you feel. But I feel like this is more about making a decision about this person. Weighing your options here regarding love. Time out. Time is of the essence. Maybe you feel like time is running out or timing is important here. Because I do have temperance reverse. Tell me about the person Scorpio is dealing with. What energies are they bringing to this connection? Okay, we have walking away. You're walking away towards something more fulfilling. So this person could be walking away from this four of wands. Maybe they're having a separation in their life with a third party. Because I have the three of cups reverse with the lovers reverse. Or, you know, they could have walked away from you here. Can I get one more for Scorpio's person? What are their energies in this connection? What are their energies in this connection? Pure seduction. So they're attracted or, or going based off of what inspires them or draws them in. Maybe they're giving into a desire. Some of you are dealing with a person who maybe they've had infidelity in their connection or there was infidelity between you and this person, but like something occurred in this connection with you and this person. But I think there's definitely a third party here. So we'll see. Let's see what we get here with the Seven of Swords. Why the Seven of Swords? Why is the Seven of Swords here? Nine of Cups. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Wheel of Fortune. So I'm interpreting this in two different ways. I have the world at the bottom of the deck. Um, okay, never mind. Um, I've just been corrected. <laughs> so I feel like this is, um, okay. I feel like this is a strategic move, a strategic opportunity, something that you want but shouldn't be wanting in a way. Maybe this is you having to sneak off to have your wish granted or have an opportunity. Maybe this is you um, sneaking away to, you know, see what else is out there. Or this could be your person, you know, and you're kind of suspicious as to why they're being so strategic and sneaky, you know. Why the temperance card reverse? Why is temperance reverse? Sagittarius energy here with temperance. Why is temperance reverse? The moon, yeah. So Pisces energy there. So this is this is interesting. I feel like you don't trust this person's intentions towards you, or there is a lack of clarity about why someone is doing what they're doing. This could even be you. If you're making a strategic move in your life, you don't even know where, how this is going to work out. Maybe you're hoping it will, but you don't know for sure. Tell me about the Three of Cups reverse and the Lovers reverse. Why is the Three of Cups reverse with the Lovers reverse? Knight of Cups. Tell me about the Three of Cups with the Lovers reverse. Interesting. So this person could be apologizing to you. Why is the Three of Cups reversed with the Lovers reverse? For what happened? Yeah, Strength, Leo Energy, uh, Queen of Swords. So I feel like this is somebody that 
I think that's why everything is happening. I think this page of cups is an apology for what has already happened. And you're still thinking about that if that's the case. If this is an apology that this person's making to you because they did something wrong, you're still thinking about that when they come forward. And I, I think in your mind, you don't know whether to trust this person or whether what they're wanting is is legit, maybe. But they're, they're coming forward. That's for sure here with the Knight of Cups strength. Can I get one more for the Three of Cups reverse and the Lovers reverse? Why is the Three of Cups reverse? The Lovers reverse. This one. King of Wands, yeah. They're coming forward. They're being very bold, um, courageous, brave. And there's the Page of Pentacles again. We do have the Page of Pentacles here. So bringing you some sort of an offer. I think this is an apology, almost like a uh, an olive branch. Oops, I just dropped a bunch of cards. Okay, so let's see um, what's going on in the near future. So this Queen of Wands is making me think of this Pure Seduction card. Something that they're drawn towards. This could be you, Scorpio. Um, but I have the Three of Swords reversed. So it could be that they want to heal this connection. Heal the, 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 the divide between you. Or it could be that there's a third party that's still kind of affecting this connection. So let's see. Tell me about the Three of Swords reverse. Why is the Three of Swords reverse? See, that's the third party. Four of Wands. Why is the Three of Swords reverse? Why is the Three of Swords reverse? The third party is still going to affect this connection in a way. The Hermit, Virgo energy. Tell me about the Queen of Wands. This person could be married or in a long-term commitment. I have the King of Pentacles here with the Page of Pentacles. Tell me about the Queen of Wands. The Hangman. So, we have the Hangman over here. Reverse with the Four of Wands. We have the Hangman and the Four of Wands here. So, what I'm seeing is, whatever's going on right now, or whatever the current situation is, it's still going to be... Like, it's going to be um, a continuation in the near future. Tell me about the Queen of Wands. This person, I feel, while they're stuck or planning, they're thinking about what they truly want or who they truly want. Tell me about the Queen of Wands. Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, there's like a waiting period here. King of Swords at the bottom of the deck, Three of Pentacles. It, this person definitely is either thinking about what to tell you or wants to continue the, the conversation. So whatever you started talking about here, it's almost going to be like continuing to talk because this person is still dealing with the third party. There's the Three of Pentacles there. So any hidden factors, what do you need to know about the outcome? The King of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles. Tell me about the King of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles. Tell me about the King of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles. Why are they here, Spirit? Page of Wands. So this is what somebody wants to do. It's. I feel like they're almost like preparing for this or hoping for this. Tell me more about the King of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles. Yeah, Page of Swords. This is the beginning. The beginning of something. They're going to talk to you about what they want um i feel like eventually um you know for some of you you're going to be talking to somebody about financial ties that they have to the third party situations at home um, apologies um, maybe you're going to talk about the past what's already happened in the past what led to this point i feel like this is all about future communication or communication that's laying down a foundation if that makes sense so I don't really see a lot of commitment or action. I see someone kind of laying the groundwork to get to that point. But before you even get there, I feel like this person wants to talk to you to see if you would even trust them or care what they have to say. Because I don't think that you truly trust this person. Or I think you're wary of this person's intentions. Or maybe this person has been telling you something for a long time, Scorpio, and you're kind of tired of hearing it and you just want to see action. All of those things apply here. 
feel free to let me know in the comments, you know, what the situation is for you. Um, you know, I feel like a lot of you aren't really sure uh, when it comes to this person because I have balancing act and true love. It might be a true connection, but there's a lot of doubts and confusion, a lack of clarity here about something. And I think, you know, maybe you're hoping that this leads to a wish granted for you, but this is clarifying the seven of swords. So I feel like maybe it's too good to be true and that instantly is like your guard is up, right? So that's what I have for you, Scorpio. This is the 411 in your connection. Uh, feel free to let me know in the comments if this resonated for you. If you enjoyed the reading and want to see more readings from me, then hit that like button, subscribe. I'd love to have you. Uh, thank you so much for watching, for all of your support. Otherwise, I'll leave it here. Thank you so much, Scorpio. Take care.